Hey, what's up guys? It's Michael with RA3D at Purdue. We're wrapping up work on day three of the Robot in Three Days Challenge. Uh, we have our robot here, fully functional, working, scoring game pieces. It's going really, really good. We'll have our reveal video up tomorrow and more videos showcasing the robot actually doing cycles and stuff like that. We don't want to spoil all of that right now by showing you that, but I'll just give a quick overview of the progress we've done and kind of what our robot's looking like. So, uh, starting at the front of the box, we got our intake here. We were having some problems when we tested with the bumpers on today. So we added these extra compliant wheels out here that we cut to be kind of like in traction stars. And that's helping our game pieces be grabbed from the floor much better over the bumpers. And so our intake spins based off the 775 right here. Um, and it feeds into our shooter slash arm. So the shooter and arm is connected to the intake at this wrist. This wrist allows the intake to pivot. And then the shooter here accepts the game piece from the intake. So it intakes here, the intake pivots a little bit, and then it goes right into here. Um, when our intake runs, both of our shooter wheels and our feeder wheel run back. So the game piece comes into this holding area and then our shooter wheels rev up to shoot on the way out. We've been having a lot of problems with our shooter throughout these three days. We started off copying the geometry of the kit bot um, and it wasn't really working for us. So then we tried out a lot of different wheel and motor combinations. But today we tried out adding a second motor here. We have a bag on a five to one with two compliant wheels here. And this has really, really increased our shooting abilities. Instead of shooting over to the side and struggling with distance, we're firing the game piece straight up into the goal with no problem at all. Uh, so yeah, our kind of massive arm here is pivoted by these two sprockets right here. And this allows our robot to stow all of these mechanisms inside the frame perimeter at the beginning of the match and gives us the ability to aim so that we can shoot into the high speaker from a variety of different positions. And so this is gonna be really, really important to allow teams to be able to score from right off the speaker and all the way back in the protected zone. Uh, but yeah, just a reminder on how our amp scoring works. Um, we, when we intake game pieces into our intake, we leave the note inside the intake and score directly out of it uh, to avoid having to deal with trying to shoot into such a small space. We literally just pick up the game piece, and place it straight in. But that's our core scoring mechanism. It's working really well, and uh, you'll get to see a lot more of it in the reveal video tomorrow. Uh, but kind of going into our climbers here, we have two modified thrifty telescoping arms. We were having some packaging problems uh, with how to mount the gearbox and winch, uh, but we made these custom plates for tough boxes, which are actually drivetrain motors, uh, and we ran them to a winch right here which runs all the way down into the middle of the telescoping arm. And so this winch is what actually pulls the robot up onto the chain. Um, and these springs are what drive the telescoping arms up and down. Now, these hooks may look a little scary, uh, but we found they were far more effective than using the traditional climber in a box hooks, which cause some slippage on the chain. These spikes grab onto the chain and make it so that you can't move back and forth. But yeah, that's pretty much an overview of our robot. Um, today, we got a lot of mechanical work done, mostly refining mechanisms that we had, um, and electrical and programming really did a lot of work making the robot come alive and score. So we're really proud of everything we've done. Uh, thank you guys for following the entire build process. Like I said, we'll have our reveal video up tomorrow, um, as well as some more videos of us running cycles and everything. We're gonna be doing more footage, shooting, and. Uh, just running cycles and stuff like that through noon uh, as we approach that 72 hour mark and the end of Robot in three days. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and good luck on your robots this year.